May I have an apple juice? Can I see some ID? Just kidding, lad. What is an ID anyway? Would you like a fancy umbrella in your apple juice? Yes, please. Me so hungry. Aren't we a fancy lad with this little umbrella in his jig? Arsh, you never allowed me to have one of me rum. That's because you're seven years old, baby. It's not becoming for an old man to drink with fancy umbrellas. But I just always wanted one, black dog. Fine then, everyone, a round of fancy umbrellas. Oh, oh, yeah, finally! <laughs> so, lad, why did you answer all your options? No. Why did you want them? Because. Come on, answer the question before I cut gizzards off with this here spoon. Billy, really? Was that supposed to intimidate the lad? He's not even shivering. So, okay, where are your parents, lad? Why are you here? I'm looking for a pirate. <gasps> Sit me your mouth, Billy. Why are you venturing off in a strange territory, boy? Birds are banned from your tree. You will not be able to find one here. We're just six sad sailors in a saloon. Say that five times straight. Six sad sailors in a saloon. 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 No one in here is a pirate. No one. Aye! You just scared away Redbeard. The priest is piano player on the side of Atlantic. Yes, piano. We were in dire need of help. Actually, just the other day, no, he was telling us. We were in dire need for help. What's a sad image. It brings tears to the eyes. I vowed to my momsy that I would find a way to save the baby. Dadsy's working nonstop and he made Johnny join me. Johnny's only 11 years old. He's working in the mine side by side with Dadsy. So sad. Well, anyway, I remember my momsy telling us stories. She would always talk about an island out at sea. <laughs> Islands are out in the sea. Duh. He's a child, you're not old. Stop talking. Yes, stop talking, old timer. I'm not old. Just do the bear. <laughs> My momsy would talk about how fierce Captain Flint found an island in which he buried all the treasure from his victories. He buried it in a cave where X marked the spot. He was leaving the treasure there for a later pickup after the British Ruffles trail. But there was a mutiny on his ship. The mutiny led to Captain Flint being thrown off ship, as well as his first mate and many of the members. Some say Captain Flint is dead, while others think he washed ashore and survived. I don't know what you are talking about. I never heard of this Captain Flint in the HMS Pinto ship. I never mentioned his ship's name. Dun, dun, dun. No, seriously, I'm not a pirate. I never once stepped forth on the ship's beautiful mahogany floors. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, honestly, I never once ate with in gorgeous mess hall with marble accents. Me thinks you're a pirate, Captain Flint's ship. No, no, I was not. You were on that ship. Were you? Were you? Yes. Yes, I was. I was the one who swam ashore with Captain Flint. Then he wandered off in an unconscious stumble, and I was left waiting, waiting, waiting. I remember it as though it was yesterday. The mutiny on the HMS Pinto. No, I do not like Mentos. They are truly not fresh makers. <laughs> Why do I keep you around? No, there's nothing on the ground. <laughs> Never mind. Well, anyway, Steve the pirate and I were members of the HMS Pinto with Black Dog. We used to mop the decks all day long. When I went blind from watching a solar eclipse, Steve here went dip by standing by the cans all day long. We were both warned not to do it. But we're pirates. We don't know any better. Ah, oh, Black Dog. Haven't seen you since the mutiny. Why are you hanging out with this boy? Did you get married and have a son, Black Dog? Where's your wife? Rum? Oh, um, no. I'm Black Dog. And no, we were just discussing the mutiny. Looks like I'm not the only old-timer here. <coughs> and I need you to accompany me on a voyage. I need your sailing expert. I need to find that island with all the buried treasure. I can help you. I can sail me and find an island. When shall we depart? Tonight, gentlemen. Tonight? How can a group of old people men and a child go on such an adventure? This is madness. Oh, oh, really? Well, I have a map and I have a pirate that wants to sail to this island in order to bury the gold. Really, this is not madness. This is brilliance. We will go to that island, the island of the treasure. The island is you heard that? I try my best to focus, especially when it's time to find gold. <laughs> this is 
is really happening. My mom's you will be so proud. Have a good day, mate, is by walking. I'm coming with you. I'm going to help this child out. Thank you. And you, Pew. Get, get, can someone lead me out of here? I, I forgot where I entered in from. I'll lead you. This is really happening. My mom's you will be so proud.
like to win? Oh, he's a very smart lad, isn't he? Yes, I am a lad. <laughs> First off, who is the naming committee for this ship? I'm <coughs> proud of the name. I came up with it. Of course you did. Did you ever think to be a little more conspicuous? Or perhaps a little more dangerous with the name? Perhaps the Black Oyster or the Treasure Seeker? I stand by the name, the Pirate Ship. It took a long time for me to come up with it, so I stand by me thoughts. <laughs> okay, men, let's get the ship organized and set sail. Room for treasure to help out Jimmy and his family. And you, Pew? Oh. And to group the society that we can still fight like the pirates we were. What? You're proving it, not in your capabilities, that we can still persevere. No, I do not like Pastrami, not my favorite family man. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, Jim, are you ready to sit off on your adventure? Yes, yes, I am. But first off, should we work higher than this? Oh yes, that makes sense. Hello? Can you get out of the door? Can you get out of the Just give me a moment. You're supposed to turn up. Please hurry up. Ow, ow, ow. Always a crazy 95 year old who has turtles. Uh, where did you find these people? Oh, I found this one by a retirement home and these two standing by the here. Um, who are you? My name is Anna, and I am on the Tempest Wood Park, and I moonlight as a singer in the city. Well, the wood carving for especially for a ship that is built out of wood. But the singing part? Who sings these days? This is not a musical. What do you do? Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Sneakers, SBF 75 sunblock, 
evening suits and khakis. You may want to hold off on those thoughts. Why? We need to plan ahead. Oh no. Oh no. What? I asked for the HMS Elton John, but I think they just brought the lifeboat for me. HMS Elton John. Oh, thank you. Shmi, you can't travel in this.
It is coriander. Ah, <laughs> oh, I was thinking nutmeg, but yes, it's quite amazing. Oh, I thank you, I thank you. Do you guys want to try it? Oh, can I try? Me too. Okay, here we go, here we go. There we go. And wait, wait, I'll give you a nice big spoon for it. Oh, wow! It knocks your hat off! Oh, my! How do you feel, then? Ew, this, this is disgusting. Somebody hand me some rum. Ha! Fools, you men, that's for holding me down. Hey, this is my cooking you're talking about. Did... What were you going to say, Will? Did, did the food just take your words out of your mouth? Oh, my. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I can feed this to many countries, right? I wouldn't feed this to the countries who are battling against. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was so mean. And how do you think he fooled you, right? Yeah. Is he Yahoo! Black Dog, the finest pirate in the world! <laughs> Once again, this is mean, and you're talking about my cooking. Well, thanks to Eleanor's grotesque concoctions, Black Dog is no longer seasick. Uh, uh, I, I, I still like her soup. Why, thank you, Pew. The rancid flavors allow me to see a little bit of light, once a shimmer of hope. <laughs> that was mean. No, 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 just say it back. <laughs> What's there over there? What do you see? I can see it. Where? I see land. <gasps> A map. Island? What island? What is it? A magnificent island. <laughs> it's only one. <laughs> I'm afraid that's copyrighted, my friends. Oh well. Land ho! Hey, it's my duty as captain. I get to say all the cliche lines. Ahem! Land ho! Away we go to treasure. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Anything. Of course. I even brought 
My machete to cut down the trees and branches. Eleanor, you stay on the ship and keep things organized. Oh, there are oh. enough supplies in there for you to stay cool. Let's look around. Thank you, Steve. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave with you. We are friends forever, but don't know where I can go anyways. Yeah, okay. Right, what do you think, Black Dog? What should we do? Shall we get going? Um, let's go, men. And Hi. ladies. Yeah. <laughs> We're here! Be here for. 
what happened to that captain? Ca well, you see, he was coming to find the treasure, and he he's, he never survived. He stumbled away and got lost. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. That's so amazing. I never ever heard of this pinto. Um, that's a horse, right? And also have the sea, and of course, a lost captain. But this all sounds very, very interesting to me. Okay, you stay here. I'll, we can sail the ship instead of a paddle boat home. Okay, excellent. <coughs> aye, aye, Captain. Or Lady, or Mumsy. The name is Laura, Deputy Laura. I must find my kids and then the treasure. Oh. Wow, this is definitely turning into quite the caper. I better go back and make some more stew for the young men to have. Just going to my ship. <laughs>
Thank you, Barky. You're an amazing woman. Your name is Ophelia. That is a beautiful name! Just don't go all crazy because the Prince of Denmark doesn't pay much attention to you. I haven't yet. Hmm. Okay, kids, let's go. Well, you two are a fine set, Frankie. Mm -hmm. Why, Ted? Do good! Do good! I will, Captain and she. What a good kid. Yes, we trained him well. Huh. <laughs> oh, is anybody gonna help us? Thank you everyone. 